Over the course of this coming year, 2023, I'm going to write a blog about six memories that have kind of shaped my life with cancer. And these are more than just regular memories of things that happen. These are like watershed moments that have impacted how my life's gone, how I've dealt with things, interacted with stuff that's happened since I was diagnosed. These memories, I can still smell every smell that was around at that time, hear the sounds, almost kind of taste that memory. Like, it is so vivid, so real. I dream about them, and, you know, it's almost like I'm reliving them in real time often. The link to the blog will be in the description or in my, you know, bio, but... I thought for this platform, I would just do a brief description on what they are. And I published the first one today. And it is a memory that was at the very beginning. Most people always talk about that moment in the doctor's office where they hear the words, you have cancer. Or after their colonoscopy or something in that realm. And while I remember that very, very well... It is something I'll never forget. I'll never forget the feeling of that. It's not really that watershed memory for me. Because I think I was so numb. I was so just out of it. And almost in disbelief. That I went through that whole day. Told my family everything that was going on. They still had the hope that. Oh you'll get your colonoscopy. It won't be cancer. I knew it was cancer 100%. So as I was just numb a little bit. So the memory I have was the next day. A little background is it was September 4th when I was diagnosed. So September 5th, 2015, first weekend of college football. And college football is something that is insanely important when you look through my life. I played small time division two college for two years until I got hurt. And just Every really good memory in the fall that I have is somewhere related to football. In my life, before I got diagnosed, college football Saturdays were everything. I drank way too much, ate a lot of bad food, but hung out with my friends, people in my family, just had amazing times. So this was the first weekend of that. And I was not going to tell my brother and my cousin and friends who would come over to the house or I lived with that, oh yeah, we're, we're not going to do that this time. So it was college football Saturday. I'm sitting there. I'm just really numb to it all. And then as the day goes on, I'm not really enjoying anything. But we have a bonfire that night. And bonfires, for me, who grew up in the country, you know, Western North Carolina, the Appalachian Mountains, so many first of my life happened either like in parties and most of them were bonfires in the pasture in you know the backyard just an integral part of life for us growing up and I love them they so much fun you know just being around people that you love and enjoy and have fun with but I'm sitting in a chair I'm kind of listening to everybody talk we have friends I have you know Brother, stepbrother, cousins over. They invite people over, talking to girls. They're all drinking, having a good time. Just a good Saturday night in September. And I remember just when it all crashed on me. Like, I remember feeling so empty, so scared, so nervous, anxious. And I never really felt like that before. I never felt so alone in the middle of so many people. And people that are greatly important in my life that were there and have been there through everything. But I felt alone and I felt like I couldn't breathe. But at the same time, I was still, you know, I could smell the fire. I can, you know, kind of hear that autumn night air with the bugs and then just that coolness of fall coming. And at times, even today, it's almost eight years later, I still get that chill when it comes on when this memory just pops into my head 
of just that emptiness of fear in my soul, pretty much. And that's when it hit me that my life's changed totally different. Nothing's going to be like it was. Because I didn't go into this expecting cancer's not going to change me. I tried, but it obviously changes everybody in ways. And this was just coming to my realization that this is going to be hard. This is going to be a fight. I, you know, got to learn to accept and face death, even though I'm not ever going to give up. And that is just a brief overview of kind of that first memory that still impacts me to this day, impacts my mindset and how I go about life, trying to not ever feel that much fear and alone and emptiness, but also telling people when they do feel that it is okay. It is a normal reaction. Just don't go through it alone. Have a blessed day and I will talk to you on my next video.